Yeah, hold on to that. Woo! Day two here in Houston. It's a beautiful day here today. It is supposed to be 90 degrees. But go from the coldest to the hottest. So can't wait to get today started. We do have a interview with Norwegian young next gen player Casper Rue. I will be showing you that later today. I can't wait to show it. He's a really nice guy. He's really loud. He's a really nice guy. Really cool interview. Definitely check it out. But right now, let's get straight into it. Here we go. Day two. Keep your hand ball, take a big step back. Not one Texas lady has dropped it. Pass it back. I'm impressed. Brad, are you impressed? behind the scenes footage of what actually goes into all these cool drone shots. Just in a home location. Talk to the satellites. Calibration failed. <laughs> Drew just, just keeps flying around like a child. Yeah, getting dizzy. <laughs> so while I enjoy this great barbecue chicken sandwich, I want you guys to enjoy this Casper Root interview that we did yesterday. So, enjoy. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> so congratulations on your win. Thank you. Uh, the first thing I want to ask you is, what the hell is Bundy? Bandy Bundy? Bundy. Bundy. What's Bundy? What do you mean? The sport with the hockey. Oh, Bundy. Oh, yeah. Bundy. Yeah. yeah. It's. Um, Am I saying it incorrectly? Yeah, I didn't understand. It's, <laughs> it's a Bundy, but Bundy. Yeah, but it's um, well, it's on ice. Okay. And it's uh, with the sticks, but just the ball. Really? That is like similar to a baseball. Okay. It's like really hard. Okay. And it's a bigger field than hockey. It's like um, it's like a small really? soccer field. So, so it's big and it's seven players against each other. Is there like a professional seven. league? Yeah, in Norway, Sweden and Russia. Oh, wow. Did you want to do that instead of tennis? <laughs> well, when I grew up, I did bandy and hockey. Like yeah. Similar. Both of them, they're yeah. similar. So. I know how to do both, but when I was 12 or 11 or 12, I kind of put hockey, soccer, and golf aside okay. and focus on my tennis. Was that because of your dad, or was that because? Oh, of just because of myself. You know, okay. I, uh, I, uh, I kind of always preferred doing something like on my own. Yeah. It was fun playing in a team, but yeah, uh, I guess I liked it more on my own. So really? it was the biggest choice was tennis or golf. Okay. Now, when I look back, I should probably have chosen golf because you don't have to run so much. Okay, that's, yeah. that's fair. It's easier for the body. <laughs> <laughs> You're still young, yeah. so you got some time. <laughs> Do you, um, was your dad always a big influence on you when playing? Yeah. You know, my dad has always been not like super hard, but he's been strict, you know, with, okay. uh, with all of my, my choices and mm -hmm. trying to to guide me in the right ways, um, not starting at partying at a young age yeah. and these kind of things that that you tend to tend to go attend that when you're like mm -hmm. 15, 16. Yeah, when you start going out. And yeah, you know, he he let me go out sometimes, oh, really? but not. I never I never had alcohol. Okay. Because just because I didn't want to, and yeah. I don't. I've, tr I've wow. tasted it, but I don't like it. So. Wow. It's so a great self restraint right there. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Do you um. You're, you and your dad are probably one of the top two professional tennis players to come out of Norway. Yeah. And your dad's career high was 35. Are you going to get to that point where you might beat him and then rub it in his face a little? Well, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I have some years left to try. So yeah. if, I, if I beat my, my father on, my, on the rankings, I mm -hmm. think I will be very happy. And uh, I guess hopefully he will be proud. You know, yeah. he's had the record for a long time now. And, okay. uh, I think he would be happy to see his son take over it. <laughs> that would be if that would happen. That would be really nice. Yeah. A nice dynasty for yeah. you guys. Yeah. When did you play your first pro tournament? Um, 
because everyone starts at a really young age and you're still young but you're in the top 100 now yeah well i kind of I kind of, um, you know, I played this junior or junior circuit under 14s called okay. Tennis Europe, okay. which was like a big, big thing uh, going on in Europe. Like okay. all the all the best kind of 14 mm -hmm. year olds went went out and, yeah. and competed against each other. Mm -hmm. So I, I I traveled a lot that year to kind of measure myself against other top top players in Europe in my age to see if I, you know, how 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 high could I get on the rankings. Yeah. And that year I finished top 10 on the like on wow. the 14 rankings. Mm -hmm. So you know that was a good uh, good year for me and mm -hmm. to see those results. And uh, you know that the year after I didn't want to travel too much because mm -hmm. I've been on the road for maybe 25 so weeks yeah. that year. Yeah. And, wow. and we said that I was going to train very hard for one year, both tennis and physically. Wow. And uh, I guess that was when I was 14, 15. And during that fall, there was a future event in Sweden. Okay just over the, across the border from Norway, so it was like a two, three hour drive. Mm -hmm. And I had been a little bit tired of just training, training, so I wanted to go and play, you know, yeah. something. So, you know, I, I, I went there and I played the qualities because it wasn't really tough. Mm -hmm. I remember I lost in the qualifying final, 6-4 mm -hmm. in the third. Oh. So, you know, it was tough. <laughs> I, I, want, I wanted to get to the main draw, but yeah. I just kept on working. So I guess that was kind of the first time, but then okay. I got my first points, the ATP points in 2015. Oh wow! During the summer, so okay, very nice. Yeah, that's kind of where I, I got my first points. Yeah. Fantastic. And then, where would you say you want to see yourself in the next year? Well, I said that if I can finish this year around 50 in the world in the mm -hmm. rankings, I would be very happy with my year. All right. Um, so you know, it's a, it's a high goal, but you know, you see other players in my age to uh, already there and even yeah. higher. So. You know, I just have to think, why can't it be me? You know, I, I grew up with them. I feel like I've mm -hmm. worked really hard the last three, four years and mm -hmm. very disciplined. So, you know, you, you can't order good results. Yeah. It's uh, not that easy, unfortunately. But you can't just have it. I will keep on working hard. And, you know, I feel like I, can, I could have had better results the past mm -hmm. two years, but I also had some good ones. And, mm -hmm. and I'm top 100 in the world. And exactly. that's, a, that's a great payoff already. And uh, I wanted to go. I want to go for more. Awesome. Thank you so much, Casper. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks. for doing the interview with us. I really appreciate it. I'll leave his social links in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed day two from here at the Houston Clay Courts Men's Championships. So if you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a big like on this video. You guys have been doing such a great job hitting that like button, but make sure you're subscribed as well so you don't miss any new content that we're posting here on the channel. And I hope to see you guys for the rest of the week. Make sure to check out all our socials as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as behind the scenes at tweenerhattennis.com. So I hope to see you guys for the rest of the week. Tomorrow we are going to the Tennis Express store. It is the biggest one in the nation. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys.